Tonight we get a glimpse at the crisis that continues to unfold at the southern border. Both Democratic and Republican lawmakers got a first-hand look in our Brooke Katz is in studio with details of what they saw and also what they had to say about it. Brooke? Yeah, Doug, a Texas DPS says nearly 30,000 migrants have been apprehended at or near the southern Texas border this week. Both sides now calling for change as facilities become increasingly overwhelmed. These are the images captured by Republican senators of a migrant facility along the U.S.-Mexico border. Senator Ted Cruz posting this video on social media. We saw cages after cages after cages of little girls, of little boys, lying side by side, touching each other. We also saw a group of children who just today tested positive for COVID-19. Texas House Speaker Dade Phelan called the surge at the border a humanitarian crisis. And I don't see a real plan from the administration, and it's frustrating, and that's a bipartisan frustration. Democrats also came to Texas to visit a facility in Carrizo Springs for unaccompanied children. We're here today to find solutions. We're here today to go back to Washington and offer recommendations for how this process can be improved. Representative Joaquin Castro pointed the blame at the previous administration. President Biden inherited a situation where the previous administration had sought to dismantle the infrastructure for processing asylum seekers and settling asylum seekers in the United States. The Border Patrol confirms it is not sending back migrant families with children younger than seven. That amounts to around 1,900 people every day, including 500 children traveling without adults. The Border Patrol is only legally allowed to hold children in its facilities for 72 hours, but it's currently holding some a week or longer. And just a heartbreaking story that we're learning about today. Border Patrol says it rescued a mother from Guatemala and her two children who were unresponsive after trying to cross the Rio Grande. One of the children, a nine-year-old girl, did not survive. Doug? Awful to hear. Brooke, thank you. I want to get